There's been a lot of literature regarding low testosterone and some of the potential health uh, effects it can have. So from a lot of the pretty well done studies uh, available out there, low testosterone has been associated with early death, cardiac disease, depression, decreased mood, increased fat gain, diabetes risk, uh, difficulty maintaining lean muscle mass. So there's a lot of factors associated with a low testosterone and obviously therefore a lot of reasons to try to maintain a healthy and natural testosterone. Some of the questions that I often get in in my clinic regarding testosterone is what are some of the natural methods of trying to maintain a healthy level or perhaps even increase it a little bit. There's certainly some evidence regarding uh, regular exercise, aerobic and, and resistance exercise in potentially increasing natural testosterone production. Uh, decreasing fat content and, and losing weight so you have a greater lean muscle mass and proportion of muscle to fat ratio. Uh, this has also been shown to increase your testosterone levels in, in many circumstances. Um, eating a well, well balanced, healthy diet with lots of whole foods can help you achieve those goals in optimizing your body habitus and maximizing your, your natural testosterone production. There's several different ways of treating low testosterone. If you're uh, a younger uh, individual that still has goals for reproduction, then using regular testosterone treatments are not ideal for you because it's going to shut down your natural testosterone production and therefore shut down your sperm production. There are a few off-label potential options that uh, can sometimes be used in a, a young man that is symptomatic and has a low blood level of testosterone. Some of these options include off-label clomiphene, uh, aromatase inhibitors like anastrozole, and in some circumstances, even HCG injections. If you're an individual that no longer has any reproductive goals and uh, you're looking forward, then there are various options available uh, for these individuals as well. Uh, this can include testosterone gels uh, that can be rubbed on the shoulders or in the armpit region. There can be testosterone injections into the muscle. Uh, both of these are have been around for a fair amount of time and can be dose titrated to fine tune the testosterone levels into a good healthy range within your blood. And there's a new product to the market in Canada, an intranasal administration of testosterone, which has also been shown to be quite effective and slightly more physiologic with respect to impact on other hormones within your body.